I don't like being slighted. Like, you can't be my friend and slight me. If I feel like you being shady, you being, you slighting me. If I feel offended by things you say, because I'm sensitive. I'm real sensitive. Um, I ain't want to be your friend no more. to another daily vlog we're on mayhem day 16 if this is your first time watching my name is Peyton and I call all of my subscribers PayPal's and all you have to do to become a PayPal is hit the subscribe button you can also turn your notifications on so you will be notified whenever I post a video because I don't have a schedule <laughs> like child, I, uh, having a schedule makes me feel like I'm giving myself deadlines and I'm adding pressure to my life and once I let go of being a project manager and walked away from my nine to five, I chose to like let go of all the things that stress me because I'm not deadline driven. I don't want to put myself on um, like uh, upload schedules because I feel like I'm giving myself a deadline to post in a lot of times. I post when I feel like I've gotten enough content to give an hour long entertaining vlog. So, you know, if I don't if I don't do anything throughout the week cuz I have moments where I'm lazy, I have moments where I'm depressed, I have moments where I just I'm I'm innately a homebody. So, I have moments where I just don't even like going out the house like I I'll stay in the house for like two, three days, washing clothes, cleaning, binge watching TV. I have that a lot. I experienced that a lot in my life. So I don't want to put myself on a schedule. So if you do turn on your notifications, you will be notified. Hopefully, sometimes YouTube falls short of that, but you'll be notified whenever I post. So um, you won't miss an upload. And then liking my videos helps me out a lot. I really have to stop going to sleep with eyeliner glue on my eyes because I'm messing up my pillowcases and my sheets. Like I have all white sheets. I never get color. And I'm messing up my pillowcases and my sheets. That pillowcase from Bliss, my silk pillowcase, oh God, it's destroyed. Like I don't even know how to get glue out of it out of a silk pillowcase and then i have like some spots on my bamboo sheets from cozy earth i love these freaking sheets they so soft i don't know how i'm gonna get this glue out i have no idea but yeah a video just went live today i got up early this morning i don't know i guess it's because so much light comes in my room even with the shades down if i leave my bathroom door open the light that comes through the bathroom will shine in the room. So, like, because I sleep with one eye open, I really sleep with one eye open, y'all. I'm not lying. I really sleep with one eye open. It's not fully open, but it's open. So, once the light starts coming into the room, I'm going to wake up. Regardless of what time it is, I'm going to wake up. So, lately, I have been waking up at, like, 8-something, 9-something in the morning. And even though I stayed up to, like, 3 4 a.m. this morning um i still woke up at nine so i got up early and i did some work i edited the video and um it's live now i hope you guys enjoy it excuse my vulgarity i'm a little vulgar in yesterday's video um because i when, when i was talking when i was talking to candy cane we was talking about toxicity like 
I just, I really just don't want to deal with another toxic man at all. But if you are going to be toxic, like, it needs to be worth it. I have dealt with a lot of mediocre men when it comes to, like, their level of attraction. Like, have you ever dated somebody that you really didn't like, right? Like, when they first started trying to talk to you, you really didn't like them. And then the more you, like, hung around them and dated them and you saw their effort, they started to like wear you down so he's like oh okay you know he's not like the most appealing to me but like the sex is good the vibe is good the energy is good woo, woo, woo. and then all of a sudden the representative leave after them 30 days and the toxic shit comes in and it's like yo i didn't even like you how are you doing me? How how are you doing me like this? I ain't even like you. You had to chase me for years. And you doing me like this? Yeah, I ain't doing it no more. I ain't doing it no more. Like, mm-mm. He got to be fine. And that's why I said, like... <laughs> that's why I said, you got to make me want to suck the skin off you. Because, like... Like, I, I need to be in... If you're going to bring toxic shit to me i need to be in love with every piece of you like want to drink your bath water type of fine like that's that's the type of fine you is like chris brown i'm pretty sure all his baby mamas know that man is toxic and abusive and they don't care because he can dance and he fine and he bow-legged bring that shit over here boy You've been caught up with the bitches. I don't get it. You're a star love. You shouldn't have to deal with that. I'll never make you feel like that. Cause I love me. I love me enough for the both of us. That's why you trust me. Through more than most of us So what are you What are you What are you so afraid of Okay first of all It's hot as hell outside Hey sir um, My father <sighs> What the temperature is outside But I know it's hot so I already made my, uh, the buffalo ranch salad. I had made one earlier. I ain't eat breakfast. I got up. I got straight up and started working on editing the video. So uh, but I, by the time I was done, I ain't even want breakfast. I wanted the salad. So y'all know it makes two servings. One salad makes two servings. And when I know I'm probably not going to uh, like eat heavy, I'll make, instead of like mixing one into the bag of salad, I'll have uh, one packet each serving so I can get like more tuna. Um, and it'd be, you know, a little bit more fulfilling, more calories. Um, and it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So, this is about to be my snack. I'm about to go upstairs and lay down. I don't know if it's just me and I'm having my watermelon juice from Simply. I don't know if it's just me, but in the summertime, I get tired real quick when I go outside. Like, thou sass! Thou is supposed to have vitamin D, but baby, vitamin D take the energy out of me. Woo. Mm. 
I think I might take me a nap too while I'm at it. I'm just gonna stay in the house today. Today's gonna be a chill day. I'm gonna finish doing laundry, go ahead and fold, cause I did laundry, but I ain't fold. So I'm gonna do some more loads. The house clean, my bedroom clean. I really just gotta do laundry. So I think I'm gonna chill in the house. I've been going out for the past two days here. I ain't gotta go out today. Thou should rest and thou wilt. <sighs> Child took a five hour nap. I feel amazing, but I'm about to be up. Like the likelihood of me going to sleep any time before 4 a.m. Highly unlikely. So we should definitely get up and be productive. sun or that CBD gummy but baby nothing got done today but what needed to get done and that was that video that went live earlier I posted some content on Instagram and um yeah I'm about to put a load in the wash just to feel good about myself because I literally did absolutely nothing today but it's necessary. Sometimes you just gotta rest, you know? Now I do need to, oh child, this is. So, right, so y'all gonna tell me to put this, put this in a freezer and, and make smoothies, right? I can't. Sworn, I uh -huh. I could have sworn I got some buffalo cauliflower. Where is it? Damn shame what they did to that dog. Oh, y'all know what I feel like watching. Coming to America. The original, not the sequel, child. They so wrong for the sequel. I can on. I boom. So y'all know I'm always making Trader Joe's fried rice because one, it's quick, and a girl don't like to cook late at night. It's like eleven something. But I'm up. I just ain't lively right now, you know. That son took it out of me earlier today. Like, oh, this summer. I can tell it's about to be disrespectful. Like, hundreds, hundred and fives, hundred and tens. It's about to be a disrespectful summer. Why do you ask? And how do I know? Because it took so long to start getting hot. Like, it's May and it's just starting to get hot here. Like, what's going on? Because I be watching, like, when my boo comes over, he likes watching documentaries on like what's going on with the earth, with which makes me watch it. Not like I'm not interested in that type of stuff, but I just be so like enthralled with like film in my daily life and vlogs and stuff like that. When I do have time to sit down, I want to watch something entertaining and funny, um, not something that, you know what I'm saying, makes me start to overanalyze and kind of like, places fear in me because for me i feel like you know no one wants to hear that in a hundred years the world's going to be inhabitable like that's kind of scary i know in a hundred years i'm not going to be here anyway but still like i want my offspring to have a nice fulfilled life but a lot of documentaries talking about what global warming is doing to the world and it is extremely depressing oh 
this smell nice and see. Oh, wait a minute. How are you gonna do my shot like this? So last night me and Kenny came, we went to Boulevardier. And y'all, when I say that food was so good, that food was so good. She ended up getting the lamb chop and she got these crawfish um, bites. The crawfish bites were so good. I didn't try her lamb chop, but I had the duck. The duck was good. Um, I probably will try the lamb chops when I go. The duck was good though. It came over like this cabbage and um, mashed potatoes. It was real good. But let me tell you what's gonna have me in a chokehold them grilled oysters. Them grilled oysters about to have me in a freaking chokehold. First of all, grilled oysters taste like mus mussels. It's weird because like fried oysters taste kind of like a gushy, mushy mashed potato, like old cooked mashed potato. I don't know, like it tastes like, it tastes like mashed potatoes, like a mashed potatoes with like a cream cheese in it or something. That's what fried oysters taste like. But grilled oysters taste like mussels. And they had already made their sauce to put on it. So I'm telling you, when, the, when, when they come out, you don't need to do nothing extra to them. You know how when girls eat like raw oysters, they, have, they make their little sauce. So it's like Tabasco, lemon juice, whatever they put on it. You don't need to do that with grilled oysters. Like they come ready to like slurp. So good. Oh, so good. Mm. Y'all know I'm like a little food reviewer or whatever, like a food critic or whatever. Y'all know. Y'all know. So, uh, yeah. I'm about to be in there all the time, okay? Oh my God. So I gotta, I don't wanna cook all of them. I thought, I ain't even read the damn thing. It says sauce pitch, sauce pouch inside. I don't wanna cook all of them. I just wanna cook a few. Oh. about buying a new camera y'all i've been looking at a new like sony camera that's for pictures um i have an old canon 60d this is the camera that i bought Ooh, almost a decade ago when i first started youtube it is pretty old um and it's just not giving the quality that I need for my sit down videos. Like it has no auto focus on it. So like if I'm out of focus, I'm really shit out of luck. Like, and I don't know that I'm out of focus because the viewfinder, it's a mirrorless camera. So I can flip it and see myself, but the viewfinder doesn't like really show how out of focus you are. So you don't really notice it until you put it on your computer and start editing. It's like, wow. like. I'm not about to film all of this over like no i'm not um yeah so and honestly i feel like canons they have this hissing sound in them that's like really hard to edit out oh my god it's so hard to edit out no matter how good of an edit editor you are you're still gonna hear it um so yeah I'm thinking about getting a new camera that I can use for my sit down videos and pictures because I get a lot of my pictures from either making videos on my iPhone. Um, I haven't done any with this new one yet, but from making videos on my iPhone or videos from my Sony ZV-1, my vlogging camera, which doesn't have a flash on it. Now this does, but like, I, to this day, I, I don't even know why I still have an iPhone. Because I hate iPhone pictures. I love Android pictures. Hate 
iPhone pictures. Every time somebody take a picture of me with their Android, I'm always like, oh my God. Like, what kind of camera is that? Because Android coming like a Sony. But iPhone, iPhone is just, a, a, it has a very humbling camera on it. You be thinking you cute. For some reason, iPhone be like, bitch, where? Where? Because I'm going to show you, you're not. So yeah, I'm looking at a Sony A7 II or something like that. I'm looking online, but I'm not gonna buy anything from Best Buy online. Yeah, I'm done with it. I ain't never doing it again. That, that, mm -mm. that had me cursing out customer service twice. So yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go in the store tomorrow and probably like look around nine times out of ten if i find one that i really like i'm gonna go ahead and get it because i need it i need it and then i'm just gonna sell that one to whoever want to buy it because it's still a good camera it's a great camera to start off with it's just old it's just you know almost 10 years old maybe 10 years old but um you can still like film with it do makeup tutorials it actually makes great movies like it has a movie quality about the um, picture that I love it's just the hissing sound that's annoying and the fact that it doesn't have autofocus so yeah they end up coming out with a 70d like a year after I got that one and at the time I had spent like $1,600 on that camera so I definitely wasn't gonna try to resell it and get the 70D but I really wish that I had got the 70D because the 70D came with autofocus I'm thinking it's not much difference right but yeah it was the 70D has autofocus and that one doesn't and trying to focus ugh, like you I feel like the, the best time you can really see is like up close but if you like sitting far away and you don't have anybody that's filming with you so you can get in the right spot yeah it's gonna be hard to get in focus so yeah i just want to update and enhance my quality of my sit down videos and having that autofocus and removing that hissing sound is gonna help me tremendously so yeah new camera on the way they also just came out with a new zv camera too the zv10 mm -hmm. uh-huh I'm gonna have to go and look at it to see because I mean if it's not much different than this one I'm not gonna buy a new camera for vlogging I'm not I'm not all right let's find something on TV to watch Okay, y'all, so I had to give Greenleaf up. Greenleaf, I had to get it up. I couldn't. I couldn't anymore. This fried rice is giving drunken noodle. Mmm. I don't know what season they put in it. Maybe curry? Mmm. Oh, wife going, girls. Always a vibe. Oh, this fried cauliflower was so good. Got to try to convince him to show you guys. You're as close as any family I've ever seen. Honey, can I talk to you? No, go away. But I can't sleep so clean that all because Rose is a talking to me. I could care less now. Get out of my room. Sophia? I'm not in. Wait for the beat, then leave a message. So what are y'all friendship goals? Are y'all friendship goals sex in the city, girlfriends, the sisters, or golden girls? I'm probably going to say my friendship goals are sex in the city. And I say it because they be talking about each other a lot. Like, I don't like being slighted. I don't like being slighted. Like, you can't be my friend and slight me. If I feel like you being shady, you being 
you slight me, if I feel offended by things you say, because I'm sensitive, I'm real sensitive, um, I don't want to be your friend no more. Like, for real, you could say, you could say something extremely little. Like, it could be very trivial to you, and I'm, I'm going to be like, no, nah, I don't want to hang around her because this shit sounds shady as fuck. So, I wouldn't say Golden Girls is my friendship goals because they talk about each other. Like, they be shading each other and slighting each other a lot. Plus, <clears throat> they be messing with each other, men and stuff like, baby, y'all too old to be doing that. So, I'm going to say Sex in the City. That's always been my friendship goals is Sex in the City. I do hate how um, <clears throat> they fell out with Samantha at the very end of it, though. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, Samantha was literally the glue in the friendship. And she, and she was herself. I feel like out of all the characters, I liked... I related a lot to Carrie, but I loved Samantha because Samantha was so unapologetic. She was a boss. She didn't need a man. She just wanted them <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, I just like their friendship. I don't like girlfriends' friendship. I wouldn't say their friendships was goals because they talked about each other too. And Tony was like, I don't want. A fr I wouldn't want a friend like Tony. Tony was a narcissist. In that friendship with John. <clears throat> and then the sisters. They talk about each other too. Like. Not saying that. Sex in the City they didn't talk about each other. Because they did. They did. But I feel like. There were no. Unapologetic friends. Or narcissistic friends. Like everybody really gave. 100% <clears throat> to the friendship. And when there was a time where one felt judged or um slighted you know they had a healthy conversation to sit down and talk about it you watching girlfriends and like joan and tony would like fall out and not be friends for episodes <clears throat> tony would sleep with joan's friend uh guy friends and both ex boy exes and stuff like that. it was just i don't want i wouldn't want a friend like that I wouldn't want a friend like that at all. But I also, as far as the sisters, I wouldn't want friends that make bad decisions when it comes to, like, men all the time. Like, I feel like that would just be draining to be in a friendship with somebody that's <clears throat> always going through it with the person that she chooses to be with. Like, at some point, you have to be happy. Like, I think we on season five in, what's her name? I don't know why I want to call her anime Andy. <clears throat> She's still dealing with that Mary man that she was messing with. This man almost like sent you to jail. He had your bank account frozen. You didn't have no money. You couldn't pay your bills. You couldn't pay your rent. And you still dealing with this man just because he got money. He's narcissistic as fuck. At first, there was a time where he couldn't even have sex with you because he was so messed up in the head about you dating when y'all won together. Mind you, this man, man is married. Like, baby, I couldn't be Andy friend. I would, I would literally have to let that friendship go because of her poor decisions in me. I would. I would. I couldn't be her friend. And Karen, oh, Lord. <sighs> Mm -mm. I would rather be Fatima's friend than any of them. Danny is a mess. Sabrina is a mess. But I feel like Sabrina is the most logical. But she messing with a man that she think gay. She's still messing with him. Don't want to be in a relationship with him. But can't leave him alone. I would hang around them one night, listen to the conversation, and literally change my number. I, I couldn't be friends with either four. Baby, baby. Didn't they tell you that I was savage? Jersey!